in this video i will cover how to model vfd that is variable frequency drive vfd is used based on the process requirement when as per the process requirement when it is required to to monitor the um, speed of the drive when it is required to operate the drive at different speeds based on the process requirement during that time we need to use variable frequency drive to control and monitor the speed of the drive this is the main purpose and also it can control that you know that reactive power reactive power into the system we know that the inductive loads like induction motors draw huge current of reactive power from the network and synchronous generators grid grid sources these are the uh, reactive power source who supply the reactive power into the system but the induction motors the inductive loads those are the those those are the consumer those, those absorbs the reactive power from the system so how to model this pft uh, let's say this is 11 kb system this is 11 kb system and here 800 kilowatt motor is connected with this 11 kb motor let's add the same same motor here 800 kilowatt and i want to add variable frequency drive here now okay let's use a switch here so that i can switch off the vft okay now let's run the load flow to check the status here how much current is drawing this motor 800 kilowatt motor so this is drawing 48.7 ampere let's check the power so this 800 kilowatt motor is drawing 854.5 kilowatt active power and reactive power 353.6 353.6 kilowatt so this much of active and reactive power this 800 kilowatt motor is drawing and this reactive power 353.6 kW it is drawing from the system it is drawing from the system in turn this reactive power is supplied by the source grid supplied by the source grid and this motor is drawing 353.6 kW. Now, if I add this VFT, let's model this VFT, assign the parameters. Go to the editing page here, kilowatt show. Here, the motor, this VFT, this is the output portion, this is VFT output, and this is VFT input side. So keep in mind that in the output side this VFD output should be such that minimum this much of power should be supplied this much of power 
or reactive power should be supplied by this VFD. So, this should be minimum 800 kilowatt because the motor rating is 800 kilowatt itself. So, let us keep it minimum 800 kilowatt output side so that it can supply to the 800 kilowatt motor and additionally there will be the cable connection in between this VFD and motor so there will be loss also so minimum 800 kilowatt it should be more than that but it should not be less than the driven equipment rating so here 11 kV 110 percent voltage frequency full load current 41.99 okay now coming to the input side here so efficiency efficiency obviously it can be it can be less than 100 percent suppose suppose 96 percent so based on that the input side power input side kva will be changed will be more than the output side so if the output side is 800 kva and because of this efficiency is 96 percent so the kva yeah, the kva required at the bfd input side which is 833.3 kva it is drawing and here the power factor is 100 percent at input side so that it will not draw any reactive power from the system let's see let's close the switch now run this load flow So, there are some observations here. The first observation is the reactive bar is 0. That means this BFD is not drawing any reactive bar, any reactive power from the system. Here you can see the motor when, when it is direct online starting 854.5 kilowatt. Here also 854.5 kilowatt, 353.6 kilowatt reactive power it requires, and here also 353.6 kilowatt. But the beauty is that this much of reactive power is supplied by this BFD only because this reactive power is generated inside this BFD, so it is not drawing any additional uh, reactive power from the system. So that is the advantage using variable frequency drive and another thing is that it is it is overloaded this pfd is overloaded how much let's check the alert here here this pfd overloaded this is operating at 111.7 percentage so because because we have chosen the output power as 800 kilowatt and here the input side is like this but there is the cable loss also and this is the minimum power this is the output side vfd output terminal minimum power which is 800 kilowatt suppose if it is 850 kilowatt output power so that it can supply to this 800 kilowatt motor let's check now how much loading this bfd is okay still overloaded but percentage is 
reduced previously it was 111.7 percent is now it is 100.9 percent is it's operating that is more than 100 percent that's why it is giving alert if this rating is 900 kilowatt and i believe this time this overloading will be removed yeah so this is not critical alert this is now marginal because it is operating at 95.3 percent is okay but as you can see the total active and reactive power drawn by this drawn by the motor those remains same only thing is that the total reactive power drawing from the system is zero in case of GFT if we change this power factor suppose 85 percent instead of 100 percent 85 percent if we change let's see what happens so previously it was zero reactive power drawing from the system network and now because of the reduction in power factor now it is drawing now it is drawing 551.6 kilowatt reactive power from the system because we have changed the power factor here if it is 95 percent let's see this reactive power consumption will be reduced to 92.6 kilowatt but during direct online study it is drawing 351.7 kilowatt so we should keep we should keep this out this input terminal for factor as 100 percent is so that it will not draw any reactive power from the power system network the entire reactive power will be supplied by this VFD only so this is now zero and one more point I want to uh, tell you here short circuit contribution to output terminal this K E factor this is 150 percent you can change it 110 percent or 120 percent you can define based on that short circuit current will be calculated by k into full load current so it will be 70.86 ampere if it is 150 percent k value if you change you will reduce this one then the short circuit contribution will also be less here let's run the short circuit case also let's see during normal DOL starting motor the fault contribution by this 800 kilowatt motor is 0.347 kilo amps that means 347 ampere 347 ampere whereas this short circuit fault contribution to the system is nil it is no contribution only here here this 0.347 it is limited up to this VFT only there is no fault contribution to the system so here 0 0.078 kilamps 0.347 kilamps if you change this k value suppose this is 110 percent let's run this let's see what is the change here the fault current contribution will be changed yeah here this is 0 0.057 kilohams 0 0.057 kilohams so this is reduced this is reduced but there is no fault contribution to the system by SPFT 
so this is also another beauty why we should use the variable frequency drive so hope there is some value addition related to VFT.